Aria Kaluba is determined to share her culture from Liberia through fashion. To do that, she's showing young girls what the American dream truly looks like through hard work, beauty, and legacy. Come on, girl, you could do it. On the first try? It's a sewing camp that I started two years ago, and it's just a way where girls can come in and just learn how to sew. Aria Kaluba is driven by her passion to create and cultivate a vision for clothes. She's pouring her heart into helping young girls as young as six years old. I mean, at that age, I was so intrigued about the sewing machine. I was so intrigued about fashion. So imagine me at that age and where I am now. So it just my love to teach, to educate, and it's just a fun way to get girls involved in extracurricular activities. Speaking of where she is now, Kaluba has opened her own clothing boutique, which bears her name in Butchel, a name that represents the legacy of her late father, who died in a 2011 fire while trying to save her. By the grace of God, I'm alive today, but my father didn't make it. Um, and he was the breadwinner. He was a single father taking care of his two girls in school and doing the right thing, but tragedy hit and our life changed forever. This can be thrown on over a jeans. Wow. Change for the better. After her father's passing, Kaluba created the Fashion Club at Jeff High School before attending college in California. She got so good at designing clothes that her work was featured in New York Fashion Week. Two times in a row, back to back. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal, <laughs> but really big deal. Yeah. Um, so it was just tragedy that could have taken me on a different path that I used to just turn into this. What color is your dress? It's turned into a continuous moment of joy for the 25-year-old fashion designer who wants these young girls to feel a sense of beauty and passion that she has when she does what she loves. That moment is when I design a garment and just walk away from it and just not even think about all the sweat and time that went into it and having people come in and look at it and just like, wow, that is amazing. That's when I'm like, okay, I'm on the right path. A path that has allowed her to honor the sacrifices of her immigrant father, who she says would be proud. While she could be in L.A. or New York, she chooses to be right here in Louisville to give back to her community. I think my story will be just doing more, more than you, more than yourself, giving out the best of you that you can to your community. In Louisville, Stefan Diggle, WLKY News.